All right, good afternoon. It is day 21 of the uh, Chris Gethin Hardcore eight week hardcore trainer. Um, just finished the first cardio session of the day. I uh, got back on the uh, Stairmaster, did 30 minutes. Uh, last day of 30 minute cardio for this uh, transformation. Um, what would I wanna share about today? So it's Sunday. Uh, I know that tomorrow we are going into our fourth uh, week of this transformation, four of eight, so we're almost to halfway done. Um, I'm also finishing up some of my Hydra Charge uh, mixed with some beet powder, um, which was good to have while I was working out. Uh, so what are my thoughts on Sunday? What do I, th what do I think? What are my thoughts? Uh, so I guess what I can do, I can share yesterday a little bit of what happened. So last night, you know, um, uh, we went out to, to Raleigh, did an escape room. I really should have done some video on that. I think that was a lot of fun. Uh, went out to eat, went to an escape room, just had some good time relaxing, um, just sort of enjoying uh, the weekend, getting out of the house. Um, really enjoyed that. It was, it was a good good time. We got back uh, probably 10.30ish or so, and I, had, I hadn't uh, finished up my meals. And um, I also didn't... Uh, finished my second cardio so around about 10 30 I decided to go ahead and and uh, head over to the gym to get that part done because I couldn't I couldn't go to bed without having done it so went to the gym I changed clothes you know I was all fresh and clean got back in the gym and um, I'm gonna tell you I really was tired um, it was probably 11 15 by the time I got dressed and got on the Stairmaster and I was exhausted um, just I guess from the day you know it was hot outside and I just kind of got some energy taken out but you know got it done um, came home had my last meal um, for the day and um, I went to bed you know and and I just I say that to say, um, you know, it's a weekend and, and you know, things are going to come up. I knew that we were going to um, head out for the evening around 6 o'clock, 6.30. And I knew that was right when I would normally, you know, have done my second cardio session and or worked out. Um, and it just kind of went right in the middle. So I had to make it up on the backside. Um, I was so glad that I did. Um, because it just, it's just... You know, I got to do whatever it takes to get this to get this thing done. Um, I will say that yesterday was a little of a challenge for me in that um, I didn't do a good job of preparing my meals in advance. So I didn't have prepared meals, which was really a poor choice on my my part. Um, I was sort of making up the meals as I went. I did go out to eat. I got a steak, I got a lean cut of steak, um, finished off the mashed potatoes since I didn't finish all my carbohydrates by that time and got, you know, some salad into me and, um, you know, later on we were tempted to uh, grab something to drink later on that evening, get some cocktails or something and I just ended up sipping on water. Um, you know, it's kind of sucky because I recognize that, you know, not being able to fully participate sort of socially made it sort of awkward because you know I'm sipping I'm sipping water when I really want to be sipping on a cocktail but you know it is only eight weeks this isn't something that you know I avoid forever and ever but I do think it is putting into sort of perspective you know sort of being able to participate in a cocktail and or not being able to participate how it can affect sort of the mood where you know it's kind of not fun if you know 
everyone else is sort of sipping on something else and you're drinking water. Hey, it happens. You know, I don't have to be pulled into that to have to, to still enjoy the company and and enjoy the mood of the evening and that's exactly what we ended up doing but I just realized that that was something I wanted to to make sure I caught so um, overall I think I still made up all my macros for the day I made sure to, to get those in before the day was over um, and got my cardio in and so this morning I was just kind of lounged around for a little while which again for another day was really fun to do that's why I'm doing cardio later in the day but uh, I'll finish off my second cardio uh, a little bit later tonight um, as well. Um, I did drink some black coffee before I got here. Um, that gave me a nice little boost of, uh, you know, pick me up to get out the house and uh, kind of get going. Um, overall, that's pretty much the gist. I know today, you know, is Sunday, so it's kind of about getting ready for the week. So today I'll need to... Um, you know, set my clothes out, get some food cooked for tomorrow, um, and just kind of get ready again, prepare myself mentally for another day. Uh, I recognize this is week four, which means we're gonna increase our cardio by another five minutes. So it'll be 35 minutes versus 30 minutes. Um, again, I'll have to get ready to adjust for that. Um, again, I, I just wanna say thank you, um, you know, you know, I, definitely getting help with food uh, has been has been amazing. Um, I didn't realize how much I appreciated or how valuable that extra time is. So even as I'm getting rid of another 10 minutes for this week per day, um, having someone, a, a supportive partner, someone who's willing to help you um, kind of work through this transition, uh, transformation rather, um, is really valuable and I really appreciate it. Um, because that's just time that you you know you may or may not have so it's kind of cool to to have someone to support and i do think it's important that you have support at home right um you know th that people are you know you let them know what your goals are and they're there to support you along that way um, i do see sort of a transformation in, in some other people's hearts and minds that you know as they see that i'm doing this transformation i do see that other people are beginning to kind of hone in on the message they see the videos going out every day I know that they're checking it uh, you know even if they're not watching the entire message which is completely fine um, I recognize that they can see that 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 there's effort on my part and of course as the progress be continues to happen and people are able to see the results they'll have sort of this journey that they can always go back and, and kind of walk through. I did get a response today from the uh, Cage Muscle group, which was fun, is that, you know, someone uh, from the group had an opportunity to watch it and they were reminded of where they were on this day. And uh, it was cool to hear their perspective of not only where they were and how similar uh, they felt to the way I'm feeling now, but that this, transformation was the foundation for their own physical journey their own you know transformation as well as sort of a a, a, a propel what's the word propel propulsion pro, propel propulsion propulsion crap that's gonna be a bad word to be propelled right propulsion propulsion is that a word to be propelled to continue their their physical journey their their health and and wellness uh, and then this young young person I think uh, her name was Terry I think it was um, made a comment uh, that it, she even became a physical trainer which I think is completely awesome so not only did it you know bring us back to a place of like fixing maybe what is out of alignment but then also putting us into a place where we are, you know, traject, see these words, as soon as I can write them, but before I have to say them, really just, you know, pushes us forward towards uh, sort of a new direction and gives us a really head start. So it's really exciting to see some of those, some of that feedback. Um, outside of that, I think that's pretty much the gist for today. Um, 
overall it's been a good day it's been a nice lazy sunday but um i'm excited to you know enjoy the rest of this day get my second cardio in and uh get it popping for next for for next week so um anyway that's that's it for me day 21 thanks